Because of the rapture, believers in Jesus Christ should never have one moment of fear or a sleepless night concerning the fear of the mark of the beast. Because of the rapture, because of the rapture, because of the rapture. Make no mistake about it, there is a rapture, harpazo, the snatching up. There will be some left alive who will be caught up into the clouds when Jesus returns. That happens after the dead have been fulfilled in Christ. Those that are going to die in Christ have to raise first. That means everyone that's appointed to die must be dead in Christ. And those that are appointed to remain alive will be caught up after the dead are raised first. So as long as there's people that are appointed to die for Christ, the rapture cannot take place. The pre-tribulation rapture doctrine, however, is a problem. There may have been people in the early church fathers scattered a few, a few people who have actually thought that we would escape trouble. But that idea didn't stick very well during those periods because of the persecutions that they were facing. It's hard to convince a church that they're not going to suffer when they're suffering. It wasn't until we get into the birth of America and this powerful, free, constitutionally protected, religious protected nation, where we have an environment that's perfect in the end times now to create a society and a culture where we absolutely anticipate and expect to not suffer at all. A privileged society who takes things for granted. We print our own money. We have economic and military power, freedom of speech and constitutional protections. And the thinking in America is that we will never suffer like the rest of the Christians throughout history. Again, the idea of a pre-tribulation rapture may have existed or tried to come forth, but it just couldn't work. There was no way the idea of escaping trouble would ever stick into the churches until America comes along and nations like America who offer a protection from persecution. Now, it wasn't until Darby and Schofield and the Dallas Seminary propagated and proliferated this idea into a culture and society that was primed, prepped, and even ordained for this particular doctrine. A doctrine that is an end times doctrine for the end times generation. Again, it may have tried to exist in the past, but it just simply could not find root until we have a society such as the one we're in now. A privileged and accommodated and spoiled rotten society who does not know anything about suffering for the name of Jesus. Because of the rapture, believers in Jesus Christ should never have one moment of fear or a sleepless night concerning the fear of the mark of the beast. Because of the rapture. Because of the rapture. Because of the rapture. Because of the rapture. Believers in Jesus Christ should never have one moment of fear or a sleepless night concerning the fear of the mark of the beast. Oftentimes I'm asked, I can't find the word rapture in my Bible. And you're referring in your teachings to the rapture of the church. Where can I find it? There are three classic passages. Let me give you one. 1 Thessalonians 4 and verse 15. Go to your Bibles and highlight it. 1 Thessalonians 4 verses 15 through 18. We tell you this directly from the Lord, the Apostle Paul writes, to this church in Thessalonica that's just months old. It's a brand new infant church. 
a small but growing group of Christians in a city called Thessalonica. And in Paul's first letter, he writes them too. But in this first letter, chapter 4, verse 15, he said, We tell you this directly from the Lord. We who are still living when the Lord returns will not meet him ahead of those who have died. For the Lord himself will come down from heaven with a commanding shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trumpet call of God. First, the Christians who have died will rise from their graves. Then together with them, we who are still alive and remain on the earth will be caught up. Highlight those two words, caught up, because that's the rapture. That's synonymous for the rapture. Correct. The word rapture is not found in the Bible. Once again, time does not permit me to do an exhaustive study on questions on the rapture. I have much teaching available on all of the platforms I've mentioned. Make use of your study time. But caught up, if the word rapture offends you, call it the great catching up. Listen carefully. When it takes place in the twinkling of an eye, this catching up in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, then we will be with the Lord forever. So encourage each other with these words. Ask yourself a question. If the church were going through the great tribulation, if the church were going to be exposed to the apocalyptic horrors of the great tribulation, why would Paul write two books to this infant church of young believers on Bible prophecy and tell them when you're talking about these prophetic events, comfort one another with these words because when you study the great tribulation, there's no comfort to be found. And the answer is simply this. The church is raptured before the great tribulation. The church is raptured before the great tribulation. As I oftentimes teach, the word church is found 19 times in the first three chapters of the book of Revelation. After chapter 3 and verse 22, the church is never mentioned again until closing remarks in the very last chapter. The reason why the word church is not mentioned after Revelation chapter 2 and chapter 3. It's very, very simple. The letters to the churches are warnings to all the elect and the lukewarm that are mixed together in this fellowship. Not everybody is going to be saved who is called, and the word church simply means to call out. So the letters to the churches are warning everyone in the church to repent and get right. And so you don't see that word used when the seals, trumpets, and bowls are poured out. It's only focusing on those that are the saints, the elect of God, because the others have been rejected and vomited and spit out into the mark of the beast system. The lukewarm churches, the prosperity churches, they have accepted the mark and they're not called saints. So when you read about the Antichrist in Revelation 13 persecuting the saints that's why the word saints is used and not the word church the church right now is made up of all kinds of lost souls mixed in with faithful believers it's a very simple solution the Bible in the book of Revelation warns the churches and then it talks about how the saints of God will be persecuted during the great tribulation hour because of the rapture, believers in Jesus Christ should never have one moment of fear or a sleepless night concerning the fear of the mark of the beast. Because of the rapture, because of the rapture, because of the rapture. Our Tribulation Saints channel is here to embrace the reality of truth 
so that we can transcend the fear that comes upon the flesh. The carnal Christians and worldly Christians are in the flesh. Therefore, the fear of dying, the fear of going through suffering and persecution is their reward. But God has not given us a spirit of fear. Therefore, we transcend the fear even in the face of the knowledge and revelation and truth that we will suffer for his name. So we don't have to fear either. The way to escape fear is not simply to believe in some easy escape pre-tribulation rapture doctrine. The way to escape fear is to embrace the truth that we have Christ and he will rescue us even through death. We have victory in salvation even if we suffer for his name. We're rescued, we're saved. We have no fear of eternal condemnation or death. The idea of the only way to escape fear is to believe in some pre-tribulation rapture is not a sound way of dealing with fear. It's actually a superficial way that will not actually work when the reality of suffering actually transpires. And they have not easily escaped as we see our constitution eroding and pastors being arrested in America and churches being shut down and people losing their jobs because they won't have this mark cut into their skin. We see more and more people now coming to realize and wake up that, hey, we might just actually go through this tribulation period. And our channel is here to prepare the elect for this truth. Because of the rapture, Because of the rapture. Because of the rapture. Believers in Jesus Christ should never have one moment of fear or a sleepless night concerning the fear of the mark of the beast. Because of the rapture. Because of the rapture. Because of the rapture.